All right, welcome back. I'm Bill Westlake, and this is Lag Demon Programming. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the videos and getting something out of them. In the last uh, in the last video, we talked about uh, a, an abstract game class for our uh, game infrastructure that we're building up, and that abstract game class has some built-in functions for printing a banner uh, and printing a prompt and reading input and it has these virtual functions for uh, evaluating a command and printing out a result that and the implementation of an actual game has to supply. Uh, virtual functions are a very important part of uh, C++ programming. They uh, allow us to make classes extensible. So this class now it's got its own process. That process relies on something we're going to supply it in another class, a specialization of this class. And that's what we've done here uh, with this. So before we, however, get into working on the evaluation command, the eval command here, and the print result, we need to work out a couple other things. So we want to do a dungeon crawl where we're going to go from room to room. So this is where we're going to do something with kind of a class hierarchy. And this class hierarchy is going to be polymorphic. We'll be able to store all of our rooms in a way that allows us to access them easily. And there's a variety of ways that can be done. We're not going to have a huge number of rooms, so we will probably just store them in a vector or a list or something. But we'll be able to treat them all as rooms, even though some of them will be specialized rooms. And <clears throat> so to do that, the first thing we're going to do here is add another item. And I'm going to use my MIT class again. And <clears throat> this class we're just going to call room. And this will be the general purpose room. Now this room is also going to be probably the most common room. It's going to be your average room. So it's not going to be abstract. Things will be able to be just a room. Um, but we may have some specialized rooms or might be a magic room with some special capabilities in it uh, that a standard room doesn't supply and some other possibilities so let's think about what a room is <clears throat> well <clears throat> a room first of all we're going to have a little miniature database of rooms so we should have some sort of uh, identifier for the room uh, and that could be anything. Uh, let's add our appropriate header files here. We definitely need strings, so uh, we're going to have to give it a name. So we'll call it. We'll we'll just give it a name. So whenever we create a room, uh, it needs to have a name. And uh, we can make that name private. Uh, to this. Uh, there's no reason for uh, uh, subclasses to access the, the name of... Well, yeah, actually there is. We need to make that protected. Now, <clears throat> we can just... Certain things can easily be done right in the header file. And one of those is uh, just implementing this. So we can do uh, uh, underscore name, name, and uh, put the double parentheses here and we can go over to our room.cpp file and we can get rid of this implementation because we're implementing it in the header file just like that all right so for the room uh, I think what we'll do in fact is go in here and delete the room cpp file entirely we'll just remove it delete it and we'll implement the entire room right here in the header file. Uh, it's going to be fairly simple. It's got a name <clears throat> and uh, it has, uh, it's going to have exits. It's going to have the ability to uh, take you to another room. Okay. So this is where we're going to get into uh, one of the standard library things. I think we may have used it. Did we use vector before? So a vector is just a storage container uh, that can be of any type uh, but you can once you create a vector for a certain type every element in the vector has to be the same type 
Uh, and there are other types of containers that behave differently. Uh, it has to be the same type or a derived type. All right. So what we're going to do here very simply is we're going to create this vector and we're going to make it of type room. And we're going to call this exits. So from any given room, there can be some attached rooms uh, that you can exit to. All right. And each of those will have a name. All right. So when you're in the room, you need to be able to see what you can exit to. And these will probably be fairly simple one word names so that we uh, can type commands easily and tell it where we want to go, what room we want to go to. Uh, <clears throat> when we put, start putting together uh, lists of these, though, we've got to decide whether or not you can get back to the room you came from. So uh, th there might have to be some cross linking there then we might have to figure out a way to uh, store it. We could also use a, a separate class and call it like exit and have it be the attachment to another room. Uh, but we'll, we'll just do it this way for the moment. So we've got a room. It's got a name. It probably also needs to have some kind of a description. Um, yeah, a room should have a description as well. So standard string. Oops. Description. We'll go standard string. Description. And we'll have to initialize that one as well. Underscore description. Description. There we go. All right, so those are initialized and there's exits. So we have to have a way to add rooms to this. So <clears throat> uh, what we can do is have a, uh, a function here. Mm, it returns void, uh, it returns nothing in other words, and we'll call it uh, add room. Room, room. All right, and what it will do is it will take, uh, well, we probably should make sure we're not, well, no, I guess that doesn't matter. For now, we'll just do this very simple. We'll just go exits dot pushback room. So what will happen here is we take a particular room, say the start room, and we add some rooms to it and uh, it, they get added into this list. Now, <clears throat> we also want to get a list of available exits from any room that we're in. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do this. Um, let's have a function that returns a uh, vector of type string that is the exit names oh this has to be standard vector all right so what do, what do we want to do well we want to build this vector of strings that we're going to return so we'll go standard vector standard String. We'll call it the result. I want to loop over all of the uh, exits in this room and just add the name into this result and just pass back the name of the rooms. So <clears throat> let's go uh, uh, for auto, which just says, you know, set this uh this value to the uh to the right type and what we want to do is uh, our auto this isn't the name this is the room exits exists exits so what this is going to do is loop over this for loop will loop over all of the exits in this vector 
and assign one at a time to room. And what we can then do is go result dot pushback room dot underscore name. And then we can return that result. So that will get us a list of the names of all the rooms. Then if we want to fire a command at this to, to use one of those exits, in other words, go to that room, what we want to get back is the room uh, that, we've, that we've asked for. So let's go standard, or no, we're going to return a room, and we're going to call it uh, go through exit. and the name of the room. So now what we need to do is find that room. So we will just use uh, a typical uh, straight up search. We're just going to search through. It's going to be a small list of rooms. So once again, we will do uh, for auto room colon in the exits and we will say if <clears throat> now we do have a problem here we have to return a room uh, so if it fails we'll return the room we're currently in I think for simplicity at the moment instead of doing some special error handling so we're gonna say if room dot underscore name equals equals name we're going to return room and if we make it all the way through this list and still haven't found the return we're going to return this okay what does that mean this is a pointer to the current room that we're in whatever the this code is executing on some instance of room this is a pointer to that this is a dereference so that we return a value in other words we return a copy of the room instead of returning the pointer later on we'll deal with with pointers but these rooms are going to currently be very static uh, so we can deal with, uh, in fact, they are, the room itself for the time being is going to be immutable. So we can just return a copy for simplicity. Uh, otherwise, we have to get into a lot of pointer management. That's something I don't want to get into at this stage of the process of teaching about this stuff. So uh, that tells us we, we go through an exit. So we've looked here. So we've got the basis of how we can set up a command now. We can whatever current room we're in we can have a command to list the names of the exits and we'll get that list of names and we can print them out and another command that can say go and if you type the name correctly <laughs> that came from this list you'll go into that next room okay and then a room should also be able to return its uh, uh, name and description to the outside world uh, and we can do that with a an accessor. So what we'll do is we'll go standard string and we'll call it get name. And all we will do is return underscore name. And we'll go standard string get description. And we'll simply return underscore description. So these are uh, property accessors. Uh, there's a get, there's no set. There's no way the outside world can't change the name or the description of this room, but you can simply get a copy of it uh, as a string and, and use that. So there's the basic idea of a room. All right. So how would we use these? Well, our game here uh, can can use them to some well we don't want to probably game here this is very abstract right this is just any any old game these rooms have to do with our dungeon crawler game 
And so our dungeon crawler game can actually have contain a list of rooms and we can do this. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, we're not gonna derive anything from this. We can do this privately. Uh, we want to include vector again. Uh, vector. And vector is just a really nice, uh, nice object for doing this stuff with vector. Oh, we want to include room. Uh, yeah, we want to include room. It's going to be a vector of room. We'll call it rooms. This is just all the rooms in the game. And so our dungeon crawler game now needs a specialization, or not a specialization, but a special function for creating a room. And also for creating and linking rooms together. Uh, so let me check the time here. Oh, we're only 15 minutes in. Okay, good. So what do we want to do here? Well, uh, first of all, we need to be able to create a room. So let's do create room. We got to supply a name. and a description. And uh, we'll just do this one in line. We've been doing a lot of other stuff in line and this is fine. Uh, create room, we will uh, uh, create a room and add it to that rooms. So we'll go rooms dot pushback room name description simple as that that'll put it a new room we just give a name and a description and boom there's a room in the system all right now we want to be able to connect rooms together creating exits so if we want to create a link between a room called a and a room called b we'll give them better names than that what we want to do is pass in the two room names and say connect them so Let's do this. Let's go void connect rooms. Room one. Room two. Name. Name. Oh, let's make that lowercase. Room one name, room two name. All right, so we're probably going to do a lot of finding of rooms in this vector. Uh, so let's do this. <clears throat> let's create a thing here. We'll say room ampersand uh, find. This will give us a, a reference to that room up there that we can make changes to. <clears throat> so we will go for auto room colon rooms if room dot get name equals equals name we will return room make sure that that's going to allow me to do that properly and otherwise we need to produce some sort of an error um, So, references can't be null. Uh, hmm. So, actually, I'm going to, instead of returning a room reference, I'm going to return a room pointer. And I'm going to return the address of that room. All right. So, we're, we're working with pointers. 
but they're not pointers that are necessarily created by way of new. This is simply, once we've got them in our list here, we want to be able to deal with the actual object in that list. So I'm passing back the address of room as a pointer. And that way, because it's a pointer, here I can return null pointer. Uh, this isn't the best practice, but for purposes, our purposes now, I'm going to do it this way. Later on, I think we'll create a special object called a result that will allow us to determine if there are errors in this. But that's a more advanced topic, and we'll get into that later. It actually relates back to some of the multi-paradigm programming in C++. So, <clears throat> we've got a way to find a room now, and, and we can check if it's a null pointer we got back, a valid room, and we can produce some sort of an error. So, what we can do is go room pointer room one comma room two so we've got a couple of room pointers here room two all right so we can go room one equals find room one name room two equals find room two name okay and if room one equals equals null pointer or room two equals equals null pointer that means we didn't find it we're gonna have some sort of an error here in fact we could uh, we could just throw Uh, we could throw an exception. Uh, but for our purposes at the moment, we'll put out standard colon colon C out from from uh, error uh, invalid room. And which one? Well, if room one is a null pointer, we'll say room one name. There's uh, possibly a little bit cleaner way I could do this, but this is simple, a little bit easier to understand than the other way, so we'll do it this way. Uh, and this is if room two is a null pointer uh, and we'll just return all right so what do we want to do we're going to go room one so at this point in the program we know that these are both good because we're we're returning up here, putting out an error message and returning if either one of these are null. So we can safely use room one pointer. And what do we want to do? We want to add room Okay, let's go revisit our room.h. This list of vectors within a room that are exits need to be pointers. And I'll explain why as soon as I refactor all this. This needs to be a room pointer. We need to get rid of this. We need to do exits dot pushback. This is a room pointer. 
think that's all valid now. Okay, the reason is uh, here in our dungeon crawl dot h this is our master list of rooms and this is fine we're creating the rooms here they don't need to be pointers they can just be rooms uh but this is our master list of rooms uh the copy we don't want a copy of the room in here uh we just want a pointer to the room in this list because that's the master copy and this will just point to it and tell it which one it is otherwise we'd be copying rooms all over the place and we don't need that we don't need multiple copies of the rooms so <clears throat> it also makes it since we're finding a pointer here we can room one pointer add room room two and room two pointer add room room one so now each of the, each of those two rooms should have at least one exit uh going back to the room you came from all right <laughs> so let's create a couple of simple rooms and test this out well we got to create the command first um no we don't <clears throat> let's uh save First of all, let's make sure it builds. There's other ways to build. I've been just running the program, but we can go up here to build and select build solution and make sure that it does in fact build. We don't have any errors, it succeeded. All right. So we've, <clears throat> we need a command to allow us to uh, print out the exit names for the room we're in that we're currently in and go through exit let me see how much time we got we're at 27 minutes all right so let's make a a, a quick very simple command uh we'll call show if you just type show it'll give you the name of the room you're in the description and uh show you the exit names so let's go back here to uh, our dungeon crawl dot h. Uh, oh, our dungeon crawl dot cpp. Here's our eval command. So if we type in, so very simply, for now, uh, we're going to say if command equals equals show. We'll just type in all lowercase. So our dungeon crawl game, uh, we also need to know a current room. So what we'll do is we'll go, we'll make this a pointer because all our original rooms are in here. We'll make it a pointer. We'll say room pointer current room. And so when we add... When we create a room, we will go if current room equals equals null pointer, and I should initialize that current room equals null pointer. So when we start adding rooms, the very first room will be the start room and it'll automatically set the current room to that room by calling uh, current room equals find name. Well, we just added it, so it better be there. So this should not fail. Uh, we just added it to the list. This name is there. It's just going to call find uh, and stick it in there because we're not creating a pointer here. We want to get the pointer out of this that should work so if we go back to our command show we will go uh, current room pointer uh, get name okay so we'll go standard C out from get name but we'll go not exit names 
get name. So we'll do something like this. We'll go, you are in room. Then we will print the description. Get description. And then we will print that list of names. So what we'll do is we'll go for auto exit equals current room pointer exit names we'll go standard C out from exit from from and L it's a string it's a vector of strings oh colon okay so if we type show it should run this so we need to create a room first so let's go back to our dungeon crawl CPP before we call game loop we want to do game dot create room start room you are in a room with a high vaulted ceiling and we'll call it the uh, store This is a store where you can buy armor. And then we'll go game dot connect rooms. Type it exactly. Start room store. And then we'll start our game loop and see if we can at least show the room we're in and see one exit. So let's start it up. And we got a uh, exception thrown. Okay, I know what's going on. My mistake. <clears throat> Dungeon crawler dot H. Yeah, these need to be pointers. And we'll clean it up. Uh, and this needs to go new. Room. And... This needs to be pointer, just room. I think we might be okay now. Nope. Oh, I had not stopped the compilation. All right, or I had not stopped the, okay, we're running, good. So if we type show, you're in a room, start room. You're in a room with a high vaulted ceiling and it has an exit store. So there we go. Show works. Of course, show doesn't work if we type it in wrong or if we put extra stuff after it. We got to type it exact. We'll fix all that. We'll do a little bit of parsing and tokenizing like we did in the other game. 
but I think we're at 34 minutes. We're running a little bit long, uh, so I think that'll wait for the next video. So we did get the basic loop working, and we got one command sort of working, and we created rooms, and, and we've got the ability to connect those rooms, and in the next video, we'll create a command. Uh, we'll, we'll actually create a little tokenizer for our command so that we can do some, uh, some interesting stuff with this and start laying out how we would maneuver from room to room uh, using commands and looking at, the, uh, looking at what's in it and then we can start working on maybe having excuse me items and stuff that you can interact with so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it hit that like button if you really liked it hit that uh subscribe button and uh if you want to get notifications when i upload videos hit that notify button thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video